Hey, what's up, you guys? This is me, JXTX, and I'm back to share another video with you guys. This video is actually lesson 386, and now we're sharing out of Crimson Series, and we're continuing on with our lessons in Kane fighting. Now, in Wednesday's lesson, I taught you guys a two handed drill or a two handed form with the um, cane. Today, we're kind of adding a, a paw on that. So, you have the first movement, which is strike with the head, strike with the tip, a backward thrust, a thrust to the back, as if you're striking somebody behind you. And then a thrust to the front, and then back. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now remember, five is uh, basically a return to starting position. Then, if you want to be, if you want to add more to it. And this is an option. This is not a given. This is an option. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four. Four is, remember, a straight thrust with your head of the cane. And then five is coming back. Then one, two, three, four, and five. Now, it's actually ten strikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the tenth strike, you can let go into one hand if you want to, or you can use it as if you're using a baseball bat. So, this is if you're using a sword, coming down straight like this, block, block, and Diagonal block. Now on the diagonal block, as I said, you can let go and just block that way. But for me, it gives me more stability if I'm blocking with both hands. Alright, I hope that made sense for you guys and it wasn't too convoluted. If it was, let me know and I'll be happy to post a breakdown of it in an upcoming lesson. Please take care of yourselves and each other. One word, one love. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please send them to my YouTube account. Or if you know how to get in touch with me on Facebook, please do so there. Thank y'all. Bye-bye for now.